Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be taking a look at the fascinating history of wind turbines. Specifically, we'll be focusing on the Scottish Professor James Blythe, who is credited with developing the first electricity, generating wind turbine. James Blythe was born in Merrick, Kincardineshire in April 1839. He was the son of an innkeeper, but he managed to obtain a good education and became an academic. After winning a scholarship to the General Assembly Normal School in Edinburgh, Blythe went on to study at the University of Edinburgh, where he obtained a BA and an MA. Blythe was appointed Freeland Professor of Natural Philosophy at Anderson's College in Glasgow. It was here that he began his research program on the use of wind power for electricity generation and storage. Blythe's breakthrough came in July 1887 when he installed a cloth sailed horizontal wind turbine in the garden of his holiday cottage in Merrykick. The turbine produced enough power to light 1025 volt bulbs in a moderate breeze and could be used to power a small lathe. However, the turbine could not withstand strong Scottish winds. Blythe later developed a multi-blade turbine but was still unsatisfied with its performance. In 1991, he created a simple vertical axis wind turbine that could be controlled at higher wind speeds. Blythe intentionally designed the turbine to become less efficient in high winds. He also built the first vertical axis wind turbine capable of generating electricity. Blythe's wind turbine had a tripod design with a 33-foot wind shaft, four arms of 13 feet with canvas sails, and a Bergen dynamo driven from the flywheel using a rope. After a lack of success offering his surplus electricity to local villagers, who branded electricity the work of the devil, Blythe installed a larger, much improved version of his wind turbine at the Montrose Lunatic Asylum, infirmary and dispensary, where it ran successfully for 30 years. Blythe's turbine was relatively small and produced only enough electricity to power a few lights, but it was an important proof of concept that helped pave the way for later developments in wind turbine technology. Pool La Cour and Charles Brush are typically credited with more significant contributions due to the scale and impact of their work, particularly in terms of advancing wind turbine technology for practical electricity generation. However, it was James Blythe that designed and built the first electricity, generating wind turbine. Blythe received an honorary doctorate from the University of Glasgow in 1900 and died in 1906. He was prescient in arguing that wind power was cheaper than fossil fuels, although environmental science and pollution were little understood at the time. Today, wind turbines are a vital component of the renewable energy industry, and they are becoming increasingly common as the world seeks to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels.